Alright guys, so after a few days of non-stop grinding, I managed to unlock uh, Isabelle's final quest. Super excited to jump into this one guys. Uh, just so you guys know, I unlocked her quest going into uh, uh, at the at the limit of, of 2750 companion rapport. So once you get to that much companion rapport, you unlock her third quest and potentially her last. I'm not entirely sure if it is her last, but... I know Bastion and Miri both had three quests, so I think she might have three as well. And if that's the case, this is it. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to emphasize that because there could be more after this. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out uh, at the end of this video. So I I'm going to show you exactly where on the bar it is that I unlocked it once we get uh, her quest actually, you know, activated. Because I can't actually look at it right now. So let's go ahead and talk to her and see what happens. What's up, Isabel? I have news. I've received a letter from the Knight Commander. She asks that I return to Castle Navir at my earliest convenience. Did she say exactly why? No, she didn't. But if you and I were wagering at a tavern, I'd put money down this is about Aurelia. Since I'm on errantry, she can't technically order me back. But she's like a second mother to me. Yeah, of course, man. So, you'd like to help her, then? You know I'm at your service. But it would mean the world to me if we could return to High Isle and speak to Dame Jorvel. If she needs my help, I'd like to give it. Yeah, of course. No problem, Isabel. It will be nice to see Castle Navir again. The commander will likely be in her office, off the Knight's Wing. My parents have been asking after you, by the way. I've told them you're too busy to go to dinner anytime soon. Okay. Um... What did you mean by errantry? <clears throat> Since I opted to travel with you, I'm considered a Knight Errant. A wanderer, basically. Just trying to make the world a better place one act at a time. Like you. That's actually pretty cool. If you joined one if if you'd joined one of the orders, you wouldn't be traveling with me then? That's entirely up to the head of the order. Knights might be assigned to a town or asked to go on a quest or even just patrol the isle. I know it was hard to tell during the journey, but the orders are meant to serve the community. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? Uh do you regret traveling with me instead of joining an order? Drake, no. I never thought my knighthood would be quite like this, true. But we've righted so many wrongs together. I wouldn't change my decision for all the treasure in Gonfalon Bay. Well, thanks for chatting, Isabel. So I guess we're going back to Gonfalon Bay, a.k.a. back to High Isle. Back to Castle Navir, where we actually started this entire endeavor. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. By the way, I'm on my main character. Uh, this is Castle Navir. I'm on my main character, but, um, I'm using a different build that you guys saw. I love the, the armory system, man, how you can just rock different builds, you know? Keep up, Isabel. We gotta speak to your mother-like figure. Like my home away from home. If you say so. Where is the Knight Commander? I love that name. I still wish... I don't know if there is, but I, I... I want that title. Just to have. Tamriel Hero right now is still my favorite, though. Welcome home, Dame Belois. Thank you for coming. I need you to deal with a bit of a situation. Uh, hi! Good of you and Isabel to come. Let me be brief. Rather than being sobered by her misadventure on Stros Mackay, Aurelia has set off on some kind of quest. I'm concerned for her safety. Wait, what happened? Where is she? If I knew where my daughter was, I would not have written to Isabel. Aurelia left a note saying she's gone adventuring to fix a problem she created and not to worry. As if telling me not to worry will make everything fine. <laughs> so you'd like us to find her then? Yes, I immediately thought of Isabel, of course. As a knight on errantry, she is free to do as she wishes. 
This is not an order. It's a heartfelt request from a mother concerned for her daughter. I mean, I understand completely. Uh, any other leads on where we might find Aurelia? It may be unrelated, but my aide Nilsman has not been seen in days. He is quite fond of Aurelia and may know more than I do. You have my permission to search his bunk over in the barracks, down the hall on the left. Then that's where we'll start then. Thank you for looking into this. Aurelia is free to do as she wishes, of course. But my daughter is not a knight, and Tamriel is dangerous. I want to see her home safe. No, I get that completely. I am a father as well. Trust me, I know how you must feel. Uh, is there anything more you can tell us? <coughs> we had a long conversation about her misadventure on Stros Mackay. About what that signet ring means to Isabel's family. How much damage that con man might have done. For real. She seemed quite sobered by the discussion. But then why did she leave? Yes, I'd hoped her brush with misfortune would convince her to buckle down, figure out what she wants out of life. Running off at the drop of a hat is hardly the response I expected. Yeah, no, I get it. Thank you. I'll do my best to find Aurelia. I'm sure she's safe. I hope that's true, Isabel, but we both know Aurelia. Once she set a course, there's no changing it. Good luck. I kind of want to... I cannot believe Aurelia ran off. What was she thinking? <sighs> Let's follow the Knight Commander's suggestion and see what we can find in Nilsman's bunk. The way he follows Aurelia around, maybe he knows something. Yeah, uh, we'll get to that right now. I kind of want to... Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. Let's go with that. I want to take off her outfit. I just kind of want to see her run around in an actual knightly type outfit, you know? I think she looks cool anyways. Alright. So wait, where's uh... In the barracks, is that still here in the vis- Oh yeah, okay. That's exactly my question. Still in this building. Well done. Knock, knock. Let me see here. So there's empty bottles of All Flags rum. Oh, she's an alcoholic. Or he's an alcoholic. I guess he was drinking. A lot. Stinks like a tavern over here. I wonder why. Look at all these bottles. What does this say? No to Nielsen's book lover? Stop leaving your damn bottles all around the barracks. If you puke in the net in the necessary bucket again, I'll dump dump it all over your head. You stink of rum and sorrow. Okay, yeah, you guys can finish that if you guys would like. I don't think this is pertinent to our investigation. So Rose of Nevere, part of the first. Uh she wanders near, she wanders far. She will return. With my ha heart. Okay. Heart. Does it need to rhyme? Our love is, bo is a bond. And you are unaware of. That you are unaware of. I think I drink. She's back. She's gone again. Seems like a two-year-old. Batman is not a poet. I, I'm right there with you, Isabel. Look at this place. Look at you. You look dope. Oh, that's all she said. Okay, <laughs> I thought she was going to say more. Hard to believe his poetry didn't win Aurelia over. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Let's see. If I'm reading these scribbles right, he went down to Gonfalon Bay. Uh, where do you think he'd gone? Uh, he'd go in Gonfalon Bay. These bottles here are all flags rum. It's foul stuff. Proudly made right near the harbor. They serve it at the ancient anchor, just south of the main gate. Nilsman, you better be down there. I swear to Stendar. Sounds good, let's go. Before we do, I totally forgot. So this is where it looks, right? It's right around there. It's at 2,750. I went 50 over, obviously, because I continued grinding. But at 2,750 is where you unlock this quest for her and of course it's where it says close 
It goes from friendly, you unlock the first quest, and then close, you unlock this one. So once it says close, you guys can uh, should be able to get this quest. I almost forgot again. Okay, let's go. See, I'm, I, I don't really have short-term memory loss. I used to, but sometimes it just kind of comes back because I'm stupid. But, but I don't really have short-term memory loss. At least not anymore. I used to have it when I was a kid, but I guess. I guess my brain fixed itself somehow. So it's back in Gothalon Bay. So we're gonna take the um, Way Shrine out there, and s s that way it's a little bit. Well, it's not a little bit. It'll be a lot faster if we just take the speedy route. Okay, so there's a door down here. <clears throat> no, I am not. Thank you. The ancient anchor in. Alrighty. Hey, you. If you're looking for food or drink, just ask at the bar, and Mara smile upon you, friend. I am not, but thank you. We're looking for a man named Nilsen, Nilsman. He might ha he might uh, have been drinking here recently. Oh, the poet? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, the poet. He's been in here a lot recently. He sits in the corner, nursing his rum and writing. He's not here now, but I think he left some of his work in the back. Don't suppose you've seen the Knight Commander's daughter, Aurelia? You run in interesting circles, friend. Uh, no, not that I know of. The anchor's a bit lowbrow for her sort, isn't it? <laughs> Anything else I can help with? Uh, nope. Thanks for your help. So it says, look for Nilsman and the Anchor Inn. So we're just gonna have to look around, I guess. Oh, I see an arrow. I see an arrow. Excuse me. Rose of Navir. Oh, it's another poem. Oh, God. Part the second. Dark eyes, not mine. She drinks wine. Not with me. She's gone to sea. How dare she leave me? Doesn't she see me? I'll go stand in the quarry. In the quai? Sure, why not? For a week. And a, what rhymes with why? <laughs> Needs more pathos, maybe some blood, imagery, or heart stuff. This guy is not... On the key. Oh, the docks. Let's see if he's still down by the water. That says key, not quiet. Oh my god, dude. Talk about not being able to read. I'm horrible. So, it's called the key, apparently. And I guess it's by the docks. I don't know what a key is. Maybe somebody in the comment section could shed some light, because I have no idea. Look on the bridge. More poetry. Look at her walking like a like a tough guy. Oh, do I even want to read this cringeworthy poetry? Part the third. Okay. There is sand in my shoe. <laughs> Starting off great. And in my heart, Aurelia and I are apart. I went to tell her of my love, full of hope and wine. I threw up in the corner and pretend it was not mine. She was kind, then she was gone. I contemplate the sea for a year and a day. Something about sunrises. What? Nilsen must be... Do you smell that? All flags rum. There's an empty bottle just ahead. He went over this bridge. Okay. Good to know. That that's it. So so we're just following empty bottles now. Uh -huh. There's Nilsman over there on the beach. He's dead. He is. Nilsman. Oh no, he's not dead. I thought he was dead. Dude, I'm pretty sure your drink would not stay in the mug at that point. Oh, he's wasted. Oh, Isabel, friend. Hello, friend. Hello, Isabel. If you're looking for her, Aurelia is gone full in bay. I mean, very much gone away. <laughs> this guy's so stupid. She's gone? Do you know where she went? Captain Marshall so much. 
He just has a board. He doesn't even write poetry. Focus, Nilsman. Where was Captain Marceau going? So many questions. I can't keep up with the four of you. I don't know the four where the ship went. <laughs> Ask a shipping perk. No, snipper clerk. Shipping clerk. Talk to them. This dude is so wasted. Uh, we will. Why don't you get some sleep, Nilsman? Let's see if we can find a shipping clerk, my friend. They're back across the bridge on the right. Nilsman, when you wake up, go back to Castle Navir and stand our breath. Take a bath. <laughs> a night does not nap when love is unrequited. No, wait. Sleep is good. Um. All righty. We'll just go with that. So we have to cross the water. I'm just going to jump because I see a bridge right there. I'm a fire DK tank. And I'm swimming in water. That does not sound like it would be really good for me. All right. Ha ha. I found it. <gasps> Who are you? Hi. What can I do for you? You looking to book a cargo ship? Actually, uh, we'd like to know a ship's destination. It's... uh. It captained, it's captained by someone named Marceau. <laughs> well, that's not exactly the kind of information I just hand out on a whim, is it? Why are you looking for Marceau? We've never had trouble with Villois Mercantile, and Marceau is a good un. What's a good un? Alright, a friend of ours uh, may be on the ship with him, and her family is worried about her. Oh, a lost lamb. Tugs at my heartstrings, it does. I tell you what, let's do a trade. You help me with a problem, and I'll tell you where your little lamb has got to. What do you say? Or, her family is really worried. Perhaps I could make the problem go away? Well, well. No fussing about. I <laughs> like it. That gold will take care of my problem quick enough. Captain Marceau sailed for Rivenspire. He was putting in at North Point, but he mentioned they were headed for a little village just outside the city. Did he mention the name? <sighs> Some backwater called North Salt. Never heard of it before. These merchants blow where the winds take them, you know? Hey, be careful in Rivenspire. I've heard dark shadows hang over that part of the world. No worries. We will. Thanks for your help. So Rivenspire it is. Please tell me the... Uh, okay, yeah, I was going to say. Please tell me the way shrine is on this side. I love this bounce. Where is this way shrine? Oh my god, it's still upstairs. Okay. At least we're here. Rivenspire it is. No, get up there. So... Oh, North Point. North Salt Village. Bam, that was easy. Man, this girl, I swear, she is an absolute maniac. She's always getting into trouble. Always running off with random dudes, too, man. She has, like, no self-respect. Uh... I couldn't aim at that other guy for some reason. That dude was doing all kinds of backflips. Your prowess is befitting a knight. Well done. Mate, report. Where's Aurelia? Sorry, Captain. Two of those bastards jumped us. Threw her in a boat, headed down the coast. Talk to Marceau, my friend. I'll keep watch. Wait, is this the guy that we keep seeing? I think it is. It is. I don't know why you're here, but you are a handsome sight. Uh, Aurelia's mother asked uh, uh, us to find her. She left a note behind and took off. She what? She told me... Damn, her incredible eyes. Aurelia showed up at the port and asked me for help. She had people looking into Kiv Linders, the thief who stole Isabel's ring. I remember. She was worried about what he could have done with that signet. You were trying to fix something that, uh, that thief did? Kiv apparently sent some letters to North Point pretending to work for Isabel's family. 
He had some debts here and was trying to use the Loire Mercantile funds to pay them off. Aurelia had all the details. Who uh, were those people on the beach? I'm not sure. We didn't even make it to the village. Maybe they're Kiv's business partners. We can search the bodies later when Aurelia's safe. We're on it. I'm so sorry, Captain. They caught me by surprise. Follow the coast to the southeast, friends. I'll patch my wounds and follow behind. Cool. To the southeast? So it must not be that far. It's really not that far. By the time we get to the way shrine and then fast travel, we would have already been... Yeah, screw it. Let's fast travel. I think, I think it'll cut off a few seconds out of our travel. <coughs> Whoa! Oh, dude, I hit that rock perfectly. Dude, I'm... I'm a monster. Oh, I'm here. <gasps> Isabel! Oh, I've never been so happy to see you. Quick, untie me. <coughs> I'm on it. Aurelia, thank the gods. Where is she? Are you all right? I'm here, Marceau. And I'm fine. Thanks to Isabel and her friends. I don't know how you found us, but I'm so glad you did. I have so much to tell you. Aurelia, your mother reached out to me. She's worried sick. Oh, don't worry about mother. I've been on a quest, and I've learned so much. Okay, Aurelia, tell me what's going on. I never got a chance to <coughs> see you after Stros Mackay, and here you are, riding to my rescue once again. Your mother was worried. She asked us to look for you. I know I acted quickly, but listen, I have so much to say. After the problems with Kiv, I had a long conversation with Mother. She really helped me to understand how badly someone could bungle things with that signet. Captain Marceau mentioned you had a prob uh, had people looking into the thief? I did. You don't spend your life as the Knight Commander's daughter without learning the value of a good scribe. I managed to stop most of Kiv's schemes with a few letters. But he withdrew some money from an account in North Point. And that's why you were going to the village. Quite correct. Marceau and I were attacked. Isn't that a good sign? We're close to something here. I know it. I'm sure Mother would rather I go rushing home. But I caused this problem. And I want to see it fixed. I'll talk to Isabel. She just stays getting into trouble, man. I swear. I'm trying to focus on the fact that we found Aurelia safe. That's the important thing here. Um. Uh, you heard then. Aurelia doesn't want uh to go home yet. <clears throat> she did, and duh, I can't believe it. She's been impulsive before, but this, running around pretending she's investigator, dragging veil. <laughs> uh, she seems quite uh sure of herself. She always did. You know, as bad as Nilsman's poetry was, I sort of <sighs> understood it. She made me feel that way once, too. <sighs> All right. She's a woman grown. If she wants to stay in Rivenspire, I'm not going to drag her home like an unruly child. That's fair. What will you tell the Knight Commander? I may just take a page from the Lady Investigator's book and send the Knight Commander a letter. We both just have to accept Aurelia is going to do what Aurelia is going to do and get out of her way. In any case, thank you. You're a good friend. I guess this is not the final quest, because if we were completing the final quest, we would actually receive her as a house guest, which we have not. So I guess there's another quest somewhere. A letter from Isabel. I really want to read that. I'm so, sorry I worried you, Izzy. Don't fret, though. Marceau and I will rest up at an inn, and then it's back to the investigation. Okay. So, I do want to read this. A letter from Isabel Veloa, uh, most likely a personal, of personal nature and su suitable for placement within the home. So this is... My friend, that day we met outside the tourney grounds was, well, it was turning, uh, it was a turning point for me. I was so full of anxious energy, like when you're, like when you're at the beach with too much sun and salt water taffy. 
Until you came along, all quiet and confident, you made such an impact on my mood. Helped me to focus. There are moments in our lives like that, where everything comes into focus. Where all the things we are, al uh, we are aligned just so. I've only had one other moment like that in my life. I was young, crawling around in a cave near Gophelon Bay. I've been in... <coughs> there, uh, there's a dozen times with my dad exploring and pretending to be an adventure. But this day was different. I walked deeper into the cave, stepped through some old boards and fell. It wasn't a bad fall. But my ankle twisted badly when I hit the ground. I was alone in the dark, crying in pain. And that's when... Don't laugh. Alright? That's when I saw the light for the first time. I prayed because I didn't know what else to do. My hands began to glow. Not much. Nothing like that. Uh, nothing like what you've seen me call forth in battle uh, time and time again. But enough to see. <clears throat> to get my bearings, to wipe my eyes, grab some old mo uh, wood, wood to use as a cane, and find my way out. That day changed my life, and I've never stopped praying. I'm not saying you're like Stendar. That's not what, that's not, uh... I'm saying you changed my life too, in a wonderful, delightful way. Also, I haven't told that story to almost anyone. <clears throat> Not even Aurelia, so don't go spreading it around. Anyway, I can't wait uh, to see what tomorrow brings. Adventures on adventures, my friend. In your service, in Isabel Velowal, Knight of High Isle. P.S. Next chance I get, I have some novels to lend you. A rousing affair. And guaranteed or guarded rows are simply amazing. Oh, and the disobedient. Don't worry, you'll love them. Okay, so that's everything. <clears throat> Let me see and make sure. So we completed the quest, a mother's request. Let's look into uh, achievements, high aisle companions. Huh. Companion quest for Ember. Where's the one that says... Yeah, so we have one more quest to go. So there's four quests for Ember too? Yep. So there's four quests. We have one more to go. Let's continue this grind. Because the next time we, uh... We have another companion quest. That's it. It'll be the end. So let's go continue grinding.